Hi, Cheeto here from Have Cheeto Will View. And yep, we're doing another review. How about that? Well, considering the movie I just got done reviewing, me and the Cheetah did, uh, The Trees Have Eyes. Um, so, yeah, we sort of wanted to, like, brush that one aside and bring something a little bit more fun and more more, more Patrick and Cheetah-like. So, uh, one of the films that I picked up at the library recently is a movie that I knew nothing about. And I picked it up, and it's called Killer High. Now, the cover is really, really dark. You really can't see it unless you get real close. I'm not even sure this will show up. But as you can see on it, there's something that caught my eye. And the reason I picked this up is because it says, uh, as seen on sci-fi. Uh, so this is like made for the sci-fi channel. Um, and this is from Uncorked Entertainment. And uh, um, what can I say about this movie? This is, this is exactly why you go blind hunting for. Uh, to find movies like this. Because this movie was a hoot. Absolute hoot. It's a creature feature, um, a creature feature, uh, supernatural horror comedy. Uh, it was made in Canada. It has a featured in all Canadian casts. Um, and the plot basically is that there's going to be a, 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 a high school reunion uh, put on by uh, Sabrina Swanson in, in, a, ver in a, a town that's dying out. The town's dying. Everybody's leaving. But she still is trying to keep things somewhat normal, uh, even though it really isn't that way. Um, you, we see her getting blood, uh, uh, quite a bit. She's giving blood. What she's trying to do is raise money for the for the catering and whatnot, for the lights and and for her dress and everything. So she's she economically she's not doing all that well, but she's putting everything she has into this reunion. Uh, you could definitely see that high school was her favorite time of her life. And it's evident. Um, but the movie starts off with, with three teenagers uh, that are doing are going to an abandoned high school and they're doing a scavenger hunt. They're supposed to find a, a advertisement, uh, like a flyer or whatnot, with a school mascot on it. Well, while two of the uh, kids are going inside to find it, one stays outside, um, see, if he can see, see if he can find something outside. Uh, he happens to find a uh, time capsule that was a... Uh, that was dug up, but it hadn't been touched. Well, he goes and looks at the box, and lo and behold, there's a costume there from the uh, from the high school. And despite the box saying 1968, and you know that it was going to be filthy, dirty, uh, the kid puts on the costume, and the costume takes him takes him over, and he basically becomes a a possessed warthog. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he goes and kills his two friends. Um, so, uh, so Sabrina, um, and her friends put together the high school reunion. Um, uh, her, her best friend Margo's there. Uh, uh, Ronnie, uh, who's also helping out. And, um, you know, they're just putting it together and, and trying to make it a special night. And things go, seem to go pretty well until all of a sudden, uh, Rosario shows up. And Rosario is played by Umberly Gonzalez. And uh, Sabrina is played by Casey Roll. And um, Rosario shows up. And she just takes over. She's not only is she a, a very popular girl. But she's also a very friendly girl. She's a, she helps out on everybody. She's, she knows everybody's story. Uh, she knows she's been keeping up with them. While she's been traveling the world. She knows all the little facts about her classmates. And all in all, she's just a really nice person. And, of course, that drives uh, Sabrina nuts because they're the big rivals. Uh, so while the reunion starts taking place, uh, bad things start to happen to people out to go leave the, uh, to leave the gym area. Uh, they start dying one by one. Uh, and rather gorily, too. And uh, soon enough, the, uh, the, this leads to a huge... Uh, scene almost reminiscent of Carrie and if you know what I'm talking about then you know what I'm talking about and uh, so they're trying to figure out how to survive and um, and not only survive but to stop this killer uh, possessed warthog um, so all in all this movie is a lot of fun it's a hoot uh, I don't want to go too much more into details because you know I don't want to do spoilers we don't do spoilers here on Have Cheetah Will View 
But I will say this, that this movie was, the, like I said, it was an absolute joy. Um, I really loved the cast. The cast was everything. Um, uh, uh, Casey Roll as Sabrina and uh, Umberly Gonzalez as Rosario. Uh, my favorite character, though, in this movie, though, those were the two leads, and they were awesome. I really liked the couple of uh, Margo and Ronnie. Um, uh, Margo was played by Asha Bromfield. And uh, Ronnie was played Varun Saranga, and they were really good. C Canada, Canada is blessed with a wealth of talented actors. There's so many good actors that come from Canada. Uh, I'm always, I'm never amazed. I used to be, but now I'm not. Uh, whenever I look at a movie like this and I type it up and see what's going on, and they're all Canadian actors, I'm not surprised at all because Canada has a wealth of, of, of talent. Um, this movie was had a lot had a, had both you know had some heart to it, but it's definitely funny. It's definitely uh, um, and and it's gory too. They didn't hold back on the gore by any stretch, and they did it really stylized. It was really interesting. It was um, I thought it was really cool how they did it. It's like when they had a big kill, they would freeze frame it, and it almost and they almost did like bullet time around it, like in the Matrix. They, they would have the camera swing around the attack. So you see the blood and the victim and everything. It was all just, it looked straight out of bullet time. And it was really cool, actually. And quite unexpected to see a, such an advanced technique on a, uh, like a movie like this. Um, so give credit to the uh, director, Jim Gerard. And uh, the, smart, the script is really smartly written by Suzanne Kiley. Uh, really fun. Uh, Really, uh, uh, I keep saying really because I really want you to watch this movie. This is, might be a movie that you might be able to pick up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's by Uncorked Entertainment. I know they, they have released a lot of Uncorked Entertainment titles over at the, uh, at the Dollar Tree sales the last three or four waves. I'm thinking this is where this is came from right here. Someone watched it and didn't like it and they turned it in and their loss is my gain uh, because this is a keeper right here. Uh, this is something you could turn around and watch with some friends and whatnot. Um, and what sci-fi used to be like. This is a movie that sci-fi used to do too. They used to do Saturday night. They do the creature features and the monsters and whatnot. And they would do movies like this as well. And um, this movie only came, only came out in 2018. So not that long ago. Um, the actresses and the actors that play there have an extensive background. Uh, Casey Roll has has been in everything from from man, she's got a she's got a resume. Uh, she was in Arrow, which is funny when you uh, when you watch this movie. Um, she's been in Arrow. She's been in uh, Wayward Pines. Um, she's been in Hannibal. Uh, she was a regular in Han uh, uh, a recurring character in Hannibal. So she's got skills. And Umberly Gonzalez really. Uh, Really good actress, too, and I liked her character so much, Rosario. You know, she was a, a popular girl that really cared about people. And um, so, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, there's the killer high. So she's, she's in a movie such as Debris, a TV series such as Debris, uh, Nurses, and... Um, and she's actually probably going to be getting ready to do a, a Hallmark movie here, Christmas Explore, <laughs> which I'm sure is a Hallmark, which is fine. Uh, you know, we get most of the Canadian actors in the Hallmark movies anyway. So, yeah, overall, I would highly recommend this movie. If you see it at the Dollar Tree, definitely pick it up. Uh, if you're at the library, your local library, you happen to see it, pick it up. Um, or hopefully even pick it up on eBay or even Amazon. This is definitely worth uh, add into your collection, especially if you're a horror fan, especially if you like creature features as much as me and the Tita do. All right, so that's it for uh, Killer High. Recommended. Uh, two thumbs up, two paws up. And um, if you liked what you heard, uh, please uh, give us a subscription, uh, a sub, and hit the notification bell and leave us a comment down below. And uh, I'm so happy to be able to bring you a good movie for for uh, to be reviewed good movie this is a very good movie there's no and, and there's no trees in it there's no no trees all right well that's it uh, until the next one peace